I'm Frank Vermeilen. Um, I have a company called Very Fine Solutions. And what that means is that we look for the best solution for you and your house or your business in audio and acoustics. Well, we have a webshop where we regularly have orders, smaller accessories for audio equipment and that. And if I have to take my big Volkswagen Caravelle transporter and bring it to the location where the drop-off is, then I always have to drive around the block three times. Most of the time I need to park double and then there is always the bus coming and I'm in the way and I get a ticket. So with the cargo bike, it's easy. I put the little packages, they're not really heavy. So I put the packages in there, make a drive and I'm faster back home than going by car. And secondly, it's hugely interesting because I bought it and it fits my tuba. So I can go to the music rehearsal in the orchestra or to the music school with my bike and I don't have to look for parking places and all that problems. <laughs> I bought it with the cargo, with the biggest uh, engine, if you can say it like that. Um, and it basically the most important part is I had to be able to fit my tuba in it and the cargo bike is long enough um, because a tuba is a big instrument and um, I put some extra padding underneath the tuba and I strap it to the front part and then it's secure and I can easily move around. I love how relaxed it drives. When you're driving it, the steering wheel is way ahead of you, but it's you get really quickly used to it. And it's a very relaxed way because you're sitting straight, you're, you're kind of upright, you're driving, you have a good view on everything you do, and, and the bike moves very smoothly. Um, if I I still have other bikes. If I take a normal bike, it's like your, your steer is on top of your front wheel. And in the first moment I get on these bikes, it's like, oh, what's... Because it's so short. It's, it's really fun to... Yeah, I, I like the way it drives. I think um, if I would create my own dream bike, it would be even a little bit longer so that the tuba now is laying on the front and the bell of the tuba, which is actually the most dangerous part to damage, is, is in the front. So if I could move that and, and so it could sit inside of the frame with some cushioning, that would for me be the ideal. And maybe a little bit more straight. If I, if we do, for example, acoustic uh, measurements, I have uh, some flight cases with microphones and equipment. When I put them in the cargo bike, because there are the sides are going down and a bit inwards, sometimes the flight cases you can't put them straight next to each other. They're pushing a bit the foam on the side, but they're not that heavy so it's it's not damaging the bike but that that would be like a little bit wider in the front actually because the front goes angled closes a bit I would make that a bit more straight and a little bit longer but not wider because now it fits through the door if I arrive at uh, some clients or the, in the music school where I go in Antwerp that door is 80 centimeters, it's the, or it's probably 90 because wheelchairs have to go in. But the bike fits through that door and I can park it in the back where, with the other bikes. 
Um, so yeah, not wider, but a bit longer and a bit more straight. It, it's changed, well, if I have to go into the city of Antwerp, where we live is just outside of the ring road. If I have to go into the city, I take the bike. <laughs> For me, I, I can't really remember how long it, ago it was when I drove my car into the city. Because a cargo bike, I can go shopping, I can I go to the bakery, to the butcher, uh, I drive around, visit clients. We, I, inside of Antwerp, I pretty much do everything with the bike. And before, I always had to take my gear, my cases, and take the bus. And that's, yeah, parking in Antwerp has become criminal. Um, no, it's mostly the shorter trips in and around Antwerp. Um, I would love to use it for a holiday, but my grandchildren live in Switzerland and doing that with the bike might need some extra battery packs <laughs> and other gear. Um, so that I haven't done. I've been thinking of driving um, on a summer day, driving it to Hasselt, where my um, mother-in-law lives and drive there with the bike and sleep in Hasselt and come the, back the next day. So that, that's kind of the long trip I had in mind, but most of the distances are in and around Antwerp. Try it out. I think the, the feeling you have with driving the cargo bike and, and the ease of use to get somewhere, park it, lock it, and, and it's, it's very easy. It's a very convenient thing to use. And, and once you feel that experience, yeah, you don't want to go back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get away the bike for any, any reason. I, I just love driving it. It's, yeah, for all the things I want to do with it, it works. Even sometimes on a evening out, I tell Martin, you go in the front and we go into the city. We go have dinner and we come back and it's only one bike that you have to lock and <laughs> we're having fun on the road. <laughs>